Good morning on this Monday morning, November 30th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning meditation from our Christian worship supplement and a reading from Habakkuk today. As we are now in the new church year, the Advent season. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Establish the work of our hands. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Let me live that I may praise you, and may your laws sustain me. A reading from Psalm 93. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He has put on strength as his belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. Mightier than the thunders are of many waters. Mightier than the waves of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your decrees are very trustworthy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. The word of our Lord. And our reading today from Habakkuk, chapter 2, and parts of chapter 1 to give us some idea of where Habakkuk is, God's prophet. So we just heard that psalm, Psalm 95, of God being the the King, all, all reigning Almighty, that's part of the, the Advent um, focus, Advent th theme, the coming of our Savior, and he is, he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And here we have God's prophet now, and he's, he's struggling, um, he has complaints for God, and we hear uh, an answer from God. So here is the complaint, one of the complaints of Habakkuk. O Lord, how long shall I cry for help, and you will not hear? Or cry to your violent cry to you violence, and you will not save. Why do you make me see iniquity? And why do you idly look at wrong? Destruction and violence are before me, strife and contention arise, so the law is paralyzed, and justice never goes forth, for the wicked surround the righteous, so justice goes forth perverted. I will take my stand at my watch post, and station myself on the tower, and look out to see what he will say to me, and what I will answer concerning my complaint. All right, so what, what Habakkuk sees and complains about is, is, is true for, for all. Um, as we recognize, um, the, the violence and the, it seems like injustice and are, are, are winning, are, are getting their way. Uh, we see it all around us, and we, and we cry for help. Perhaps we recognize those times and we cry for help to God. It seems as if he, he doesn't answer. And here's the Lord's answer to Habakkuk. The Lord answered me, Write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so he may run who reads it. For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end, it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Behold, his soul is puffed up. It is not upright within him, but the righteous shall live by faith. The righteous shall live by his faith. There is a constant comfort and certainty for us, declared righteous um, by faith in Jesus Christ. And how we continue to to live in this life um, by faith. Uh, it's not what our eyes see, our ears hear, or or hands touch, um, where we base our, our salvation upon. It's by faith. Um, but God in His goodness comes to us so that our eyes do see and our ears do hear, um, and our mouths proclaim and our hands do touch. Um, the, the, his word, um, his sacraments, uh, to give us the confidence and, and the peace that we need um, to wait. <laughs> um, 
to wait for for his answer to wait for for him um, to return and for him to deliver um, and ultimately for him to return all right you think of you know advent season now um, the returning of our king it's it's that waiting it's that waiting um, and that waiting is difficult that waiting is is hard I've heard people say it's especially harder now um, in our society of, of immediate things and immediate needs and frustrations if I don't have it immediately or if the the phone or the device isn't working immediately but it's taking a little too long and how we want things so quickly so at hand and the Lord proclaims to us um, a waiting and he'll make it clear for us right that's what he he said to Habakkuk write this down make this plain it'll be clearly heard clearly seen um, but recognize we live by faith um, not puffed up in ourselves but we live we live by faith and we and we patiently wait for for his answer we patiently wait for his return and we patiently trust then his word right that what his word says about you is true um, his word that proclaims you righteous by faith, um, forgiven before God, holy and blameless before God. Uh, that is true as God has declared it to you um, through his word, through his sacraments, to give us that confidence and peace. Continue to look at other prophecies um, this week as, as we have the first week of Advent um, and the comfort that God gives us um, through, his, through his word. Continue with the morning prayer, Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. The reading um, from the Catechism on the second petition, uh, your kingdom come, what does this mean? God's kingdom certainly comes by itself, even, even without our prayer. But we pray in this petition that it may also come to us. How does, God kingdom, king, how does God, God's kingdom come? God's kingdom comes when our Heavenly Father gives his Holy Spirit so that by his grace we may believe his holy word and lead a godly life now on earth and forever in heaven. May the grace of the Lord Jesus sanctify us and keep us from all evil. May Christ drive all hurtful things from us and purify both our souls and bodies. May Christ bind us to himself by the bond of love. And may his peace abound in our hearts. Amen. Have a blessed day.